next guest is from the Ellen, new scary movie, Ellen, Yes. You have a phone call. In the middle of the show. In the middle of the show, you have a phone call. On this phone. On that phone. <laughs> Better be important. <laughs> Hello? Well, surprise, surprise. Oh, God. Like who's calling me in the middle of the show? That and you even have a phone number. Hi, Gladys. Well, you know, uh, nowadays they call this they call it stalking. Uh huh. <laughs> You're right, Gladys. How have you been? Honey, I, I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. I just wanted to call you and ask you if it's true. And are you really going to be a judge on American Idol? I'm really going to be a judge on American Idol. I've decided <laughs> it might be fun. the best idea since sliced bread. Do, do you watch, uh, Gladys, do you watch Idol? I do. Now, you know, I found out the first time by reading a celebrity gossip magazine. Mm. I don't read them. Uh-huh. But I just look at them in the checkout. Sure, sure. And you can't believe everything you read. They said a few months ago, Portia was pregnant, and I'm pretty sure that's not true. That's not true. You're right. Well, you can always so. You can always call and ask me that question, Gladys. Well, I think it's a great idea, and I've got an idea for you. Oh, please tell me. I love your ideas. Well, if you're... You need to bring musical chairs to that show. To, to Idol? That would be fun. It, it would be fun. That is a good idea. Do you know where you're going to sit yet? Uh, I don't uh, have well, any... Well, Randy's always on the left. Right. And Simon's on the right. Right. And I believe you should just get there early one day and just sit in Simon's chair and don't get up. <laughs> Well, that's a good way to start off the show, is uh, getting a fight with Simon right away. Well, you might find his chair ain't as comfortable as the others, and that might explain a few things. Uh, <laughs> you don't like Simon so much, Gladys? Honey, I love him in small doses. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I won't let him talk so much then. Well, you can control him, and now you're a part of that show. Yeah. No, I'm really excited about it. I'm glad that you watched the show. It's a, it's a fun show to watch, isn't it? Well, it is, and we've moved to a new place now. I'm having a hard time. We don't know if we're even going to get cable. What do you mean? But two times now, the cable fella didn't show up. We have a better chance of getting the real Larry the Cable Guy out there. <laughs> and the rabbit ears don't work. You need a, a special box. Yes, we've moved on since the rabbit ears. The, uh, the grandchildren have been bringing me the computer, and I can see your show on the computer. Oh, good. And I've enjoyed it. And I want to tell you something about those uh, audience talents, the hidden audience uh, the, talents part. Right. Well, I don't know who decides they're going to get good at kicking their own head. <laughs> and on top of that, how many times they can do it in 30 seconds. Right. Uh, yeah, that was pretty... Uh, well, we, we didn't have a lot going on that day, Gladys, so we had to, to use that guy. Well, I say when all else fails, put Andy in some shorty shorts. Uh-huh. <laughs> I say it, too. Gladys, I have to get back to the show. I'm so glad you called. I miss you, and I miss hearing from you. you Honey, I love you, and I just want to tell you, this is important. You started off dancing, and I think you're kind of faking it. You're, but you're getting really good. That salsa you did the other day is dancing with the star's quality. Oh, oh thank you so much. I, I've always said, if you just keep swinging, even a blind man can hit a home run. Uh-huh. <laughs> Comedian, you're an animal lover, you're a cover girl, you're the voice of a fish, and now an American Idol judge, uh -huh. and you're truly a dancer, and we love you. Oh, Gladys, I, you can call me anytime. Well, I love you, and keep on keeping up. All right, Gladys, I love you too. Bye bye.